young little brains welcome to all four c learning program right this is physics session number 43 right now in this session we are going to start with a new chapter in electrostatics called electric potential so our new chapter is electric potential in the earlier chapter in the earlier chapter we have dealt with the charge the various effects of charge we have talked about charge force produced force due to the charge force due to point charge coulomb's law electric field electric flux gauss law electric field due to various charge distributions so on and so forth now in this chapter we will come to a new characteristic property a new thing regarding the charge called electric potential right so before going to this let's have a recall of what we have learned it will be helpful for the for us to continue with this chapter so charge is a fundamental property every charge produces field field has lines of force so positive charge produces lines of force outward normal outward away negative charge inward so coulomb's law force between two charges force proportional to product of the charges and inverse proportional to square distance f is k q and q2 by r square then electric field the space around the charge where the effect of the charge can be felt is electric field field intensity it is the force experienced per unit charge so electric field intensity e is electric force per unit charge per unit test charge it is right so the force per unit charge field intensity then electric flux electric flux is the measure of number of lines of force passing through a particular space the area whatever you consider then gauss law the total flux through a enclosed surface is directly proportional to the charge that is present inside so flux proportional to charge inside flux is charge by epsilon not q by epsilon not so using gauss law we have derived the formula for the electric field due to point charge linear charge line of charge plane sheet spherical shell charged sphere conducting non conducting so we can even uh, derive formula for the other charge distributions also right coming to our topic now electric potential now potential you know you have come across this term potential a potential in your 11th class in work power energy gravitation oscillations where you have uh, learned, you have studied about electrical potential energy sorry uh, gravitational potential energy potential energy of a spring right so you have come across the term called potential there now so let us understand the point potential right so suppose if i consider a spring imagine there is a spring like this a spring this is the actual length of the spring the unextended uh, length of the spring there unstructured length of the spring this is the spring like this when i connect a body to the spring the body is connected to the spring right it's on a smooth horizontal surface suppose now you apply an external force f on the body an external agent is applying force on the body and moving it away so he is pulling the spring so when an external agent applies force and pulls like this then the spring is stretched in pulling this the external agent does work because i am applying force and moving through some displacement we know work done f dot s force into displacement force work done is equal to f dot s so there is work done in moving this body so when i move this body there is work done the work done will stretch this spring the spring is stretched the energy spent in doing the work on the body is now stored in this spring in the form of potential energy so there we have come across so if i apply force suppose i am the external agent i am applying force on the body i pull it like this stretching it this way so in doing so i am doing work in doing work i spend energy now the energy spent according to law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor destroyed now where does this energy go 
the energy spent is now stored in the spring in the form of elastic potential energy so the spring gets stretched like this the spring gets stretched then like this now the energy spent work done energy spent is stored in it in the form of potential now suppose if i leave this force if i leave this body there is no force if the external force is removed then the spring will pull the body back now how does the spring pulls the body back sorry because whatever energy i was spending in doing work that energy is stored in it and using that energy now spring pulls the body back so the spring is pulling the body back as the body moves it gains kinetic energy so as the body moves gains kinetic energy when the body comes back to its initial position all the potential energy that was there in the, uh, stored in the spring is now converted to kinetic energy so energy is conserved you know at any position for any position of the body between this point and this point which is the extreme which is the actually original point mean point in between these two at any point the sum of the potential and kinetic energy is a constant so energy is conserved such systems in such cases the force whatever that is being the force that is applied here where it leads to conservation then such forces are termed as conservative forces right on gravitational force is a conservative force elastic force is a conservative force right so in such cases where we where an external work is done in displacing the body in doing in in in, in displacing it you do work spend energy the energy spent is stored in the spring now how can you say that the energy is stored in spring is stored in the spring there when i leave this body the spring pulls the body how can a spring a non living thing pulling the body because the energy what i have given while stretching it the energy is stored in it and using that energy it pulls the body back so whatever energy that was supplied by the external external agent it is stored in the spring in the form of potential energy right and that potential energy is used to pull the body uh, as the body is pulled by spring spring loses potential energy body gains kinetic energy when the body comes back to the initial position all the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy energy is conserved so in such cases where the energy is conserved the forces involved in such cases the those forces are termed as conservative force actually the actual definition conservative force the work done in moving it from one point to another point is independent of the path whichever way you do it but it only depends on the initial and final point the displacement it's independent of the path conservative force so this is a conservative force elastic force gravitational force is a conservative force right so gravitational force is a conservative force same way suppose if i am lifting a body suppose there is a body i am lifting this body in lifting the body i am the external agent i am applying force on the body and lifting the body against the gravitational force in doing so i do work in doing work i spend energy the energy spent is now stored in the system right stored in the system of the earth and the body system there now when i leave it when i leave the body now that energy that was stored it is used to pull the body back it gains kinetic energy so whatever potential energy whatever energy i have spent in lifting the body when i lift the body the energy spent that was stored right in the system now that system i when i leave the body that system now applies the force now all the potential energy is now converted to kinetic energy the energy is conserved so gravitational force is a conservative force you know gravitational force between two particles according to newton's uh, law of gravitation f is proportional to m1 m2 by d square so f is equal to capital g m1 m2 by d square so this was the uh, force formula for force given by newton newton's law of gravitation f is g m1 m2 by d square now coming to our coulomb's law our electrostatic force between two particles even that force is also proportional to q1 q2 by d square even this also obeys conservative i mean inverse square's law and the constant of proportionality is different so same as the gravitational force even coulomb electrostatic force 
is similar obeying the inverse square law now this gravitational force we have studied it is a conservative force right where which is work done against it is stored as potential energy now our electrostatic force because there is similarity now will there be any such similarity even in the uh, <coughs> case of energy potential energy right so such similarity was found actually people started researching people found such similarity that because there is similarity in this law inverse square law and even this was inverse square law since the gravitational force is uh, showing all showing all the uh, it's it's showing all the laws of conservative forces there is energy that is stored due because of the gravitational force gravitational potential energy so similarly our electrostatic force does it obey such laws such uh, phenomena now it was studied later it was proved that even the electrostatic force is a conservative force and even even the electric uh, electric field the electric charge also produce a field where there is a, 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 stay, a, a point explained called potential and that is termed as electric potential actually potential mean actually in general potential is the state of a system of possessing energy it is the state of a system of energy where is it is is it in a state of giving or taking actually potential differs if if it is at high potential it is in a state to give if it is at low potential it is a state to take so potential is a state you know you cannot define the absolute potential of any system there we we compare we compare the potential is more than so and so it is less more or less but you cannot take we convert the potential we take actually in in uh, while studying varpar energy we referred that gravitational potential of the surface of the earth is zero then with respect to zero when the body is lifted to a small height then the potential energy is small mg h well small height there h very much less when compared to the radius of the earth so referring the surface of the earth as zero potential the gain in potential energy is mg that way we we convert actually so absolute potential at any point is not defined now so potential actually potential is the state of a system of possessing energy right if it is at high potential high energy high potential means high energy it is in a state where it can give energy similarly when uh, when the potential is low the energy is less so it is now in a state where it needs energy so when it is connected to another any other system where there is high potential it takes so such way potential is refer to the state of a body now how do you define in physical terms how do you define the definition so now similarly as as according to the previous example as i have explained when i have taken a spring a body when i apply external force by an external agent pull it like this the work done is spent and it is stored in the form of potential energy in this spring similarly let us compare similarly if i if i take a mass suppose mass there is a another particle let there be a mass capital m a huge mass capital m then a particle of mass small m in moving it suppose in moving this towards or it, or it is in moving it away from the mass and there is some work done all the work done the energy spent in doing work is stored in this system in the form of gravitational potential similarly suppose if i consider a charge consider a charge q now in this field imagine an another charge small q imagine an another charge small q well like charges repel in moving away i need not do any work done if i leave it it itself will go but if i move it towards i am moving towards the charge in moving this charge towards this charge this is fixed this is fixed suppose right in moving it against the repulsive force you see here actually the spring was opposing the body i moved the body against the spring force against the elastic force here also the gravitational force the body was attracting this i was moving the body against the force of the system here the force is repulsive i am moving it against 
in moving like in again the system i do work in doing work i spend energy so in moving this i am spending energy now all the energy spent will be stored in the system in the form of potential energy in the form of potential energy so the the electric potential is so defined the electric potential of a system can be defined in the form of the work done work done on a charge right so it is actually defined as the amount of work done in moving a charge in moving moving a test charge right work done per unit test charge the electric potential is defined as the work done per unit test charge w by q so comparing similarly similarly comparing to this so electric potential electric potential is defined as the electric potential is defined as the amount of work done by an external agent right in moving a unit positive test charge against the field work done per unit charge so the electric potential is w by q so it is it is defined as the amount of work done suppose imagine there is a positive charge q i am moving a charge from infinity right a unit positive test charge from infinity i am moving in moving the test charge from infinity and placing it here actually what happens this positive charge repels this positive test charge it repels it doesn't allow so the external agent has to move it against the force against the repulsive force so the work done in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity and putting at a point here the work done the work done per unit positive test charge now this is the electric potential of this charge system at this point it is the electric potential of this charge at this point so it is the amount of work done the total amount of work done in moving a unit positive test charge right unit positive test charge in moving it from infinity to a point in the field the work done per unit test charge in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity to the point in the field actually right it can be even different like this it is the total work done you know integration this refers to the total work done total the summation sigma the total work done dw right in moving a test charge q not from infinity to a distance r well suppose if this is a distance r here so it's the total work done in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity to the point to a point in the field per unit set test charge so this is defined as the electric potential the physical definition for potential it is the total work done in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity to the point in the field right is termed as the electric potential of the electric potential of the charge system whose field in which the potential is defined so it is w by q so work done per unit charge you know so the electric potential v you can simply write it as w by q or cross multiply so the work done in placing a test charge q not at a point where the potential is v w is equal to v q right so therefore electric potential w by q not now it is defined it is the work done per unit uh, per unit charge now the units it is joules per coulomb si unit joule per coulomb this is volts volt so in cj system it is erg per stat coulomb esu this is called stat volt in cj system the units is stat volt it is erg per stat coulomb stat volt is it so therefore so joule per coulomb is volt now define one volt he'll be asking you what is one volt one volt is one joule per one coulomb in the sense one volt is defined as the amount of work it is when one joule of work is done in moving a unit positive test charge 
from infinity to a point in the field the work done is 1 joule then the potential at that point is equal to 1 volt if a unit positive if the work done in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity to the point is 1 joule then the potential at that point is 1 volt so 1 joule per 1 coulomb is called 1 volt right if 1 joule of work is done in moving a unit positive test charge from moving it from infinity to the point in the field then the electric potential is 1 volt so 1 volt is 1 joule per coulomb right so this is unit potential unit potential 1 volt you know there is an another work done is so work done the unit for work done you can even write as volt into coulomb so volt into coulomb is joule you know volt into coulomb is joule there okay so therefore volt into coulomb is joule right from this we can define as a unit for energy you know a unit for energy was defined unit for energy was defined from this suppose if one electron is moved through a potential of one volt an electron is moved through a potential of potential from one point to another of one volt then the amount of work done so w is one electron volt you know this is the smallest unit of energy that is defined the smallest unit of energy that is defined one electron volt so this is one electron into one volt you know one electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulombs into volt but you know coulomb into volt is joule so one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules now this is the smallest unit of energy the tiniest unit of energy electron volts the energy of the electron in a in a atom or when you talk about micro things then the energy is defined in electron volts it's 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 is the charge of electron so one electron into one volt you just remember like this it is one electron into one volt where electron charge is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 into joules while 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 doing the calculations i I advise you to better take it instead of taking 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 better write it as 16 into 10 power minus 20 joules well this will remove the decimal and make the power a round figure so it is easy for calculation so better write it as 1 electron volt is 16 into 10 power minus 20 joules by doing the calculation it will be easy to calculate right actually it is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules the smallest unit of energy so electric potential so potential is defined as the amount of work done per unit charge w by q so the units units are joule per coulomb or volt so v is w by q how about the dimensional formula now talking about the dimensional formula you know work done work done as a dimensional formula ml square t minus 2 by you know charge it is i into t now taking this up so it is m l square t minus 2 1 when 1 goes up it is minus 3 i power minus 1 so the dimensional formula of electrical electric potential m1 l m1 l square t minus 3 i power minus 1 now that is the dimensional formula for electric potential there right so the units are joule per coulomb volts and double formula then electric potential is a scalar quantity it has no direction so potential v is a scalar what is a scalar scalar is the one which has got only magnitude no direction even if it has direction it has no significance well potential has no direction it is a scalar right it's a mere number with a unit but you know even though it is a scalar potential can be positive or negative or zero so even though scalar potential can be positive potential can be negative well potential is zero now let us understand what does what does this mean potential positive potential negative potential zero so to let us have a clear idea regarding 
the positive potential negative potential now let us consider earth you know earth earth is a huge reservoir of charge a huge reservoir of charge right where any amount of charge that is given to it will not increase the charge any amount of charge taken out of it will not reduce its charge it's a big ocean of charge well suppose if there is a very big ocean if you take out some water from a from the ocean it doesn't decrease the level water level of the ocean now if you pour some extra water from outside into the ocean the level will not increase same way earth is a huge reservoir even when you take out any amount of charge from it that does not reduce its level even when you give any extra amount of charge to it it will not increase its level hence this earth is considered to be at zero potential potential of the earth is zero right it is a convention it is just a convention that it is zero really it is <coughs> it is not the the potential of the earth is not actually zero it is not a fact it's not a actual thing it is a convention because any change that is taking place any change in charge will not change its electric level electric uh, the energy that is possessed so energy the electric potential of earth is referred is converted to be zero the potential of the earth is taken as zero now <clears throat> suppose this is earth you know the electric symbol for earth is this is earth imagine there is a charge now i am connecting this charge to the earth the connecting charge to the earth let's say this is a positive charge a positive charge is connected to the earth you know what is a positive charge i was telling you while explaining you about charging the method of charging positive charge means it is deficit of electrons it is in deficiency of electrons it has less number of electrons so the negative charge is less so there are less number of electrons <coughs> so the electrons here are less so therefore now the electrons from the earth electrons move from the earth into the positive charge electrons move from the earth into the positive charge to neutralize it so electrons are moving in this direction so negative electron negatively charged electrons are moving like this this can be referred as positive charge is moving into the earth positive charge really will not move into the earth actually the electrons move from the earth to the body but you can refer this as positive charge going like this right so positive charge going from the charge to this so when i connect a positive charge to the earth the positive charge our our definition you need positive test charge we were we were defining things based on the positive charge so when a positive charge is connected to the earth then it is it is understood that the positive charge is moving to the earth it is yes when positive charge is connected to the ground so the electrons actually move from the earth to the positive charge or it can be understood as positive charge is going from this positive charge to the earth right so therefore charge is moving away now this is this charge is in a state of giving away charges then earth is in a state to take but earth we have referred the potential is zero right so this is this positive charge is the state to give away i said the state to give away is high so therefore it is at high potential and this potential is referred as positive potential it is positive potential now this is in a state it is in a state where it is giving away charge and it is losing charge to earth earth is zero so this potential is higher than earth so right higher than zero any value higher than zero is positive so the potential is positive similarly let me consider a negative charge now again earth when i connect a negative charge to the earth now this time now what is negative charge i was telling you in the earlier the same negative charge is the one which has got excess of electrons more no amount of negative charge so it has excess of electrons electrons are more 
so when it connected to the uh, ground there then excess electrons move away so electrons move to the earth electrons are moving to the earth so the negative charge is moving to the earth this can be understood as now the positive charge is coming to this negative charge actually really there the electrons move away from the negative charge to the earth right negative charge going to the earth or this can be understood as positive charge coming from the earth to it so electrons going from negative charge to earth electrons going like this it can be understood as positive charge going from earth to see this our potential we are defined we were defining the potential as the amount of work done per unit positive test charge so we are explaining in terms of positive charge in terms of positive charge the charge is moving from earth to this right the potential of earth we have taken is zero now the charge is moving from earth to this so i said the state of giving now earth is giving so it is at high potential now this negative charge is in the state of taking so the it is taking the charge so it is at low potential so lower potential than zero any value less than zero is negative so negative charge has negative potential so that way potential can be positive or negative and earth is zero thank you let us take an example imagine there is a positive charge q for a positive charge the lines of force are outward like this the electric field is outward this way now consider two points in this field field of a positive charge let me take two fields a and b now i am moving a unit positive test charge this is common you know to define electric potential we have to consider unit positive test charge with respect to the unit positive test charge you define its value as well as its uh, sign so unit positive test charge now come on this positive charge repels this positive charge away but i have to i want to move this positive charge from b to a in moving from b to a i have to move against the repulsive force you know this positive charge is repelling it the force due to this charge is away right it is pushing it away so now the positive charge test charge should be moved against the field now i have to move against the field opposite to the field by moving opposite to the field you need to do work the external agent has to do work the external agent has to apply force push it against this in doing so it is do in doing work in doing work spending energy so in pushing this it is spending energy as such by the time by when you come to point a the energy of the charge system increases so the potential energy of the charge system increases so therefore when compared to b potential at a is more so potential at a greater than potential at b therefore the potential difference between a and b delta v is said to be positive suppose imagine this is not a positive charge let's suppose it is a negative charge then what happens then the lines of force are inward the lines of force are inward like this they are towards this way now define uh, let us define the potential with respect to unit positive charge a anywhere you have to explain the potential with respect to unit positive charge so when i consider a unit positive test charge plus q dot now this negative charge attracts this positive charge right when i leave this charge then this negative charge will pull it attract nearer so the charge moves itself so the external agent need not do work the system the system of the charges the system itself is doing work in pulling it nearer so when the unit positive test charge comes from here to here it gains kinetic energy it's gaining velocity it comes faster it gains kinetic energy in the sense kinetic energy is increased so potential energy is decreased so when potential energy is decreased in the sense when compared to b the potential at a is less so for positive charge when i have considered positive charge here potential at a greater than potential at b so delta v is positive where for negative charge if i take negative charge then potential at a is less than potential at b so therefore the potential difference is so 
with respect to the charge distribution you define the potential it is different in different cases there is no general way for two points nearer point potential is more for farther point potential is it is not of that sort for a positive charge you have to understand in this way suppose if there is a positive charge distribution there is a positive charge distribution in its field there are two points right then two points p q suppose he is asking you the potential the pot question is asked define he is asking you to compare the potential of q with respect to p now suppose potential of q with respect to p now consider a unit positive test charge when i take a unit positive test charge here q not now this positive charge repels it so in moving from q to p i have to move against the field in moving against the field i have to do work so in moving from q to p i have to do work spend energy the system of the charges gains energy so when moving from q to p the energy is increased so potential at p is greater than potential at q so when i compare if he is now asking you to compare compare the potential of q with respect to p now p is more potential q is less so potential of q is negative with respect to p potential of p q with respect to p is negative so the potential here is less here it is more so that way you have to express the potential difference with respect to the charge its field and the points what you consider right but you know the potential difference between two points is independent of the path followed by the charge suppose there are two points a and b right i need not move always in this i can move in any path whatever be the path the potential difference between these two is independent of the path followed now this confirms that the electric field is a conservative field electric force is a conservative force right so it is independent of the path followed it does not depend upon the path followed by it for a for, for it let me give a very good example consider a positive charge q capital q now there is a point p which is a distance r consider all the points around this which are at a distance r which form a circle like this now consider four points here p let's say uh, o p or a b c d let me put it as a b c d a b c d points now let me compare the potential at a and potential at b potential at a and potential at b for this point charge this is a point charge q at the center of the circle o the i am taking four points at the circumference of a circle a b c d now the work done in moving the charge test charge from infinity to point a so potential at a is v a potential at b is v b potential at c v c potential at d is v d you know with respect to this charge the work done in moving from infinity to any point is c any point is same so potential at a is same as potential at b because for a point charge the distance is same and for uniformly symmetrically placed so potential at a is equal to potential at b now if i have to move a unit positive test charge from a to b along a circle right from here to there then potential at a and potential at b both are different both are same so the work done in moving from a to b along this work done is zero so a and b are at same potential so potential difference between a and b is here. now whether i move along this curved path or i move straight the work done is again zero right so when i am moving along from a to b maybe i am getting closer as i move from here to here later i move away so the net work done is zero so the work done in moving a charge in this field is independent of the path followed so therefore the work done is independent of the path this confirms that the electric field is a conservative field electric field is a conservative field
right suppose if i consider a potential let me let me take a simple example potential v is equal to work done per unit charge q w by q work done is v into q suppose if there are two points a and b then the potential difference between these two is work done in moving from b to a by q so work done work done in moving the charge from b to point a is the potential difference between these two points into q potential difference into q right so the work done now work done is it work done by the system or work done by the external agent based on that the value will be positive or negative it is based on the it depends on the nature of the charge depends on the points and the work done by whom whether it is the system or the agent based on that you are going to define the give the sign convention so w is work done between two points in moving a charge q between two points it is the potential difference between the points into charge q w is equal to delta v into q or delta v is w by q joule per coulomb or volts okay so this way we define the potential difference so i was telling you potential it is a state of the charge where it is losing charge or gaining charge the state of the the state of a body which determines the direction of flow of charge direction of flow whether the charge is moving away from it or coming towards it coming into it so that is potential potential is defined as work done per unit charge now if i take two points potential difference is work done in moving a unit per unit charge between those two points right thank you